Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the food of modern industry, chips can be said to be an industry that all countries in the world should pay attention to, because chips are used in rockets, missiles and fighter jets, as well as mobile phones, computers and mice. However, as the birthplace of semiconductors, the United States was the first to invent transistors and integrated circuits, and has mastered a large number of core technologies. Therefore, in recent years, Qualcomm, Intel, Micron and other American chip companies have almost monopolized the chip field with advanced chip technology, and have made a lot of money from it. However, thanks to unremitting efforts and heavy investment in research and development, Huawei's Kirin chip has also emerged, and since 980, in terms of energy efficiency, the Kirin chip has been able to suppress Qualcomm Snapdragon. With the support of the Kirin chip, Huawei's mobile phones are even more unstoppable, and have repeatedly surpassed Apple to become the number one in the domestic smartphone market. But a big tree attracts the wind. Huawei's strong rise not only touched the core interests of American companies, but also threatened the United States' technological hegemony. Therefore, it was soon hit by a series of sanctions. In order to restrict the development of Huawei, the United States first launched the Entity List, prohibiting American chip companies from selling chips and other equipment to Huawei, and then forcibly modified the semiconductor supply rules, prohibiting TSMC from manufacturing Kirin chips for Huawei. This combination punch directly caused Huawei to suffer a serious blow and fell into the dilemma of no chips available. But even so, Huawei did not choose to bow its head and compromise, but became more and more courageous. Finally, with unremitting efforts, it finally returned strongly with Kirin chips in August 2023. In the first quarter of this year, Huawei also topped the domestic mobile phone sales list with sales of 11.7 million mobile phones, leaving Apple behind again. What is more exciting is that after Huawei Kirin chips achieved a breakthrough, Tsinghua University also received good news. According to a report by the Beijing News, the brain-like computing research team of the Department of Precision Instruments of Tsinghua University has successfully developed the world's first brain-like complementary vision chip, Qianmo Core, and the achievement has been published in the international magazine Nature on May 30th. This is also another chip achievement of Tsinghua University that has appeared on the cover of Nature magazine after Tianji Core. As we all know, Huawei's Kirin chip belongs to semiconductor mobile phone chips. The reason why it was successfully restricted by the United States is mainly because China cannot mass-produce advanced process chips, and the United States has been stuck in the neck in the manufacturing field. But since the chip rules were revised, China has begun to vigorously develop the semiconductor industry chain, and many companies have embarked on the road of self-research, 
with the aim of getting rid of dependence on American companies as soon as possible and realizing Chinese substitution. For example, SMIC has been frantically building factories and expanding production in recent years, and in the first quarter of this year, it has successfully become the world's third largest chip manufacturer, second only to TSMC and Samsung. Of course, some companies and university research institutes have begun to study another type of chip, such as the quantum chip developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, which has successfully achieved lane change and overtaking and has reached the international leading level in this field. The same is true for the Tianmushin developed by Tsinghua University this time, which has successfully achieved overtaking in the lane change in the field of visual chips. Even many American chip companies have collectively broken their defenses. According to researchers, the Tianmushin can achieve high-speed 10,000 frames per second, high-precision 10 tit, and high dynamic range of 130 dB visual information acquisition at extremely low bandwidth and power consumption costs. It not only has ultra-high stability and security, but also breaks the technical barriers of traditional brain-like visual chips and is at the international leading level. In addition, based on the Tianmushin, the team has also developed high-performance software and algorithms, which has a great role in promoting the development of China's intelligent driving and artificial brain-like intelligence. As the saying goes, a sword is sharpened by grinding, and the fragrance of plum blossoms comes from the bitter cold. Although the United States has imposed a series of sanctions and restrictions on China's technology industry, it cannot stop Chinese scientists from never giving up and persevering in their pace of progress. Now Huawei's Kirin chip has achieved a breakthrough. The quantum chip of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has also risen strongly, and Tsinghua University has achieved overtaking in the field of brain-like visual chips. It can be said that the Chinese chip is constantly rising, and the so-called blockade of the United States in the future will inevitably become a big joke. Please like if you agree.